Hey, what's up, everybody? Another week, week eight. Let's make some picks. Let's make some money. Um, so I'm just gonna predict most of the games, and then I'll go with the ones I really, really like. Um, so I'll start off with the Thursday night game. I think 16 is too much. Vikings are not New England. They have been playing really good. The defense at home is amazing. Um, Adrian Peterson is going back to Minnesota. Case Keenum is going back to Minnesota to play. Uh, so is Kirk Cousin against his old team. It's a lot of. Um, it's gonna be a good match. I'm not gonna like be surprised if it isn't. Um, they might keep it close. I think Washington. I think 16 is a little too much. Myself, I took Vikings when the spreads came out early. I might have jumped the ship, but now that I think about it, I think Washington could cover the spread. Um, I just think it's a short week. They played really hard in the rain. Um, they could be tired. Um, so if you want to be safe, you could take Vikings minus 10 or you could take Washington plus 20. Why not? What do you got to lose? Uh, next game, Rams against Bengals. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, the coach for Bengals used to be, um, used to work under, um, Sean McVay. Um, so it, it is, a, a rematch against his former coach. I still like the Rams here. This is not like the Washington game. I just think Bengals are, like, done. They're going to tank. I just don't know if 13 could be too much. Um, I did take the Rams by uh, 12 and a half when the spreads came out online. I jumped on it. I just thought they're the better team. Rams have, uh, they have short, like, they have literally worked on the defense. They got a Ramsey. They've, they made their O-line better. Um, I think they should win this game comfortably. And if we know anything about former coaches, most coaches don't go easy on them. We could ask Belichick that. But I don't know if McVeigh is Belichick, and I cannot compare him to him because he's a legend and he's a GOAT, and McVeigh isn't yet. Um, I mean, you could always go minus, I don't know, six and a half, seven for Rams to be safe. I mean, these are games... You could play on one ticket. They're not guarantees, to be honest. I just think the spreads are too much. But the Rams should cover that. Uh, Cincinnati will not be able to keep up with the Rams' offense or defense. So I like the Rams here to cover. That's just uh, my opinion. Saints against Cardinals. So the Cardinals are 1-7 one, one and seven in, this, in New Orleans. Uh, but they have been good. But who have they beat so far, Arizona? Let's see. Just got to look. They've beaten... Cincinnati, Atlanta, Giants. Three freaking horrible teams, right? Right? So they got the momentum, whatever not. But I think the defense for Saints will bring it back to earth. It's still too much if you ask me. I will go six and a half to be safe for the Saints. I think they should cover this game easily. Um, I just hope they don't change the quarterback. They're saying uh, Drew Brees might be back. That might change the rhythm of the team. I don't know if Kamara is back or not, but even if he isn't, I like the Saints here. Defense alone could score 10 points, I think. Um, next game is Tennessee against Buccaneers, and I believe Tennessee are 7-0 and against Tampa Bay, but Tampa Bay is coming off of a bye. Spread is really low. This is games I wouldn't touch, um, but if I had to choose, i go with Tennessee here. They're feeling good. Against that win against um, Chargers. But Tampa Bay is not a bad team, man. They're not the same team they used to be. Uh, I feel like they could bounce back here. James Winston um, might want to forget what he did in New in uh, London. So, I mean, if he plays anything like that, I think Tennessee wins this game. The defense is really good at home. Um, if Winston... Plays like he did in uh, UK. I think uh, this will be his last season with the Tampa Bay. If I have to choose, I go with... Shoot. It's tough, man. This is a tough game. I wouldn't touch it, to be honest. But if I have to, I go with Tennessee only because of the stats. Stats says they're 7-0 against Tampa Bay. So I go with Tennessee. If I play a fun ticket, I might put Tennessee Saints, Rams, and maybe Vikings. All right, this is one of my, I really like tickets. Denver against Colts. I like 
Colts here to win. I might buy a couple points to make it like maybe minus three and a half, minus three for Colts, just to be safe. I think Colts win here. The defense is real. You saw what they did against Houston, and Denver's offense is nothing compared to Houston. Let's just be honest. I think the Colts could win this comfortably. I love the Colts here. Seahawks at Atlanta. Well, we just heard Sanu just went to New England, and I guess New England just got better. Um, thank you, Atlanta, for that. Um, I like the Seahawks here to bounce back. Uh, they're just just way more. Yeah, they're going to overpower, I think, Atlanta. Um, I like the Seahawks here to cover and win. Take the spread. I think Matt Ryan might be not playing. He did hurt his ankle, I believe, or hamstring. So if you could bet on it, bet on it early before the spread jumps up. I'm, not, I'm just not sure if Matt Ryan, even if he plays or not, I, I like Seahawks here. Uh, Buffalo against Philly. Um, man, Philly has been horrible. I mean, the news, everything, but they did sign some people, I believe, the last couple of days for the defense to shore up. Um, this is, um, I mean, um, Buffalo should win this game. It's only the offense scares me, man. The offense, I just can't trust. I mean, they struggle singing Miami. I like Philly here for the upset. Even You could even make it plus four if you want to be safe. I just, I think Philly bounces back here. They love playing on a different field. I think they were on a grass last week, and they're not good in those games, and I think they could bounce back here. I, sh I shouldn't go with the Eagles there, but... I just have this feeling they're going to bounce back. And this is a game I wouldn't put on my ticket. The two games that I really, really like are the Colts and the Seahawks so far. Um, yeah, so if I have to choose between Philly and Buffalo, I go Philly. Just because I just can't trust Buffalo's all on, uh, offense. But if the defense plays like the way they have, oh man, they can shut down the Eagles. But I just don't see it happening. So I go Philly plus four here. Uh, I like the Bears as the, like my super ticket. I like Bears, Colts, Seahawks. Those are the three games I really like. Drop a hundo. Um, yeah, so I like the Bears here. Money line or spread. You could buy, make a minus three just to be safe if you like. But I think Bears bounce back here. Uh, Giants against Detroit. I mean, what, what are the Giants? I mean, the only thing is... Detroit is uh, missing their running back. And I think another player got injured from the defense, if I'm not mistaken. They do have a bunch of injuries. Mm. But I still go Detroit here at home. Seven, that's up to you if you want to buy points. But I like Detroit here, money line to win. Spread, I might go minus four. But they should win this game comfortably. Um... Jets against Jaguars. I mean, ish. Is it a short week for them? Did they play Monday night? Hold on. They did play Monday night. Okay, so it's a short week for Jets, and they're on the road. Um, I'm taking Jacksonville here. Spread, same thing. I like to be safe always, so I just buy points. I'll go minus three or money line. Jets should win this game. I'm sorry, Jaguars should win this game. Uh, Panthers coming off of a bye against San Francisco. I mean, Panthers has been really good. And Garoppolo hasn't looked good, but the defense is real, man. Um, they, just, they did just get Emmanuel Sanders. Hmm. Um, Maybe San Francisco minus three. I think that's possible. If the defense plays like anything they have all season, they should win this game. But I wouldn't be shocked if Carolina covers the spread. They have been playing really well. Um, I go San Francisco money line or Carolina plus seven to be safe. Um, New England versus Cleveland. Short week for Patriots, but they're at home. And 
let's just be honest, they love beating rookie quarterbacks. I mean, they just love it. And you saw what they did to uh, Sam Darnold. And I think they're going to do the same to Baker. And Baker's O-line is not any better than the Jets' O-line. So let's just take Tom Brady minus 10 or even 14. Man, they've been covering every spread except Buffalo. So why stop now? Go with New England. Um, Houston against Oakland. So they're saying Josh Jacobs might be out for this game. If he is out, I take Houston to cover here and win. Uh, if Jacobs is playing, then I take the spread for Raiders to cover. And maybe money line Houston. Packers against Chiefs. They're saying Mahomey might play Sunday night. If he is, it's tough. If he is, I still like Green Bay here, man. But I don't think they're going to rush Mahomes back. So I'm going to go with Green Bay here. Yeah, I got to go with Green Bay. Money line and spread. Um, money line should pay good too. So yeah, Green Bay money line. And Steelers against Miami. Take Steelers, all right? Uh, the spread is 14 and a half. Sure, add a couple more points too if you like. Make it like minus 17. I think Steelers like going to smoke Miami. That defense is real, guys. It's real. And Rudolph will be safe. I think they should win this game comfortably. Um, yeah, I take Steelers here to cover. Anyway, guys, good luck. I'll come up with more updates by um, Saturday. Yeah, I would say Saturday. Uh, leave a comment if you need any question, if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're still listening. Thank you. Bye.